so this is Hippy Dippy Debbie what wrote this one. <laughs> Towards Aquarius. We begin the age of Aquarius as the rising water bearers, the airborne seafarers, descending the steep stairs together one glorious Cape Cod day, looking out to the sea, we catch a glimpse of a small white fishing boat moving silently, hauling in a day's catch. The soft blue-green sea, white sandbars, and wide sky <clears throat> right before us. High winds, air apparent everywhere, stirring up, whipping by, hundreds of noisy birds on the fly, heading to the boat's stern, making their, our heads turn. We feel the presence of eternity, the suspended moment of being. Here we are on this beautiful earth, <clears throat> with all things living, and this sense of rebirth. In my heart. <clears throat> Why does it feel like I wake up every morning like I'm Rip Van Winkle? I walk out the door and I'm just waking up after 20 years have passed. And what the fuck happened to the East Village? <laughs> what is this Grand Central Shih Tzu dogs walking everywhere station? El Barrio of the Rich, Arrogant, Entitled NYU Millennials Education? Oh, St. Mark's Church is still doing construction. Okay. So some of you are contaminating the nitty-gritty part of our New York City. To the real East Village artistic individuals, let us kick our creative asses to keep the truth alive. Yes. Yes. Now I walk around seeing people drunk on double shots of dark pipe African roast drip. <laughs> I see people eating quinoa, heirloom tomato, avocado, spinach wraps with artisanal mayonnaise. <laughs> what the fuck is artisanal? <laughs> Some writer wrote, most people live lives of quiet desperation. I'm here to crank up the volume on mine before my date of expiration. Freaking everywhere I look now is this relentless gentrification. Leave it alone, folks. I've just come back from my anonymous anonymous meeting. <laughs> oh, sorry, me. Oh, no problem. No one came. Thank you, goddess of black wholeness. I was thrilled for myself. It was like a freebie. There I was all alone, me, alone, with the universal consciousness of me, bathing in our aloneness. I knew I wasn't really alone. I'm getting better. But I know it's an illness. We abstain one day at a time from our attachment to invisibility in an ever-expanding world of having to know every fucking thing about everyone. 